Since I shared dosa and idli recipes not too long ago, a lot of you have requested me to share the sambar recipe for idli and dosa. So today I will be sharing a sambar called Arachvita sambar which is also known as Udupi sambar which goes really well with idli and dosa. I would like to thank Brinda aunty for sharing this recipe but I did a little variation by adding tomatoes. However, tomatoes is completely optional. So to make Arachvita sambar, you need your favorite vegetables. So here I'm using 10 pearl onions, 2 drumsticks cut into 3 inch pieces, 1 cup diced green squash, 1 cup diced chow chow, 2 medium Indian eggplant cut into lengthwise. And for the masala you need 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 2 tablespoons of chana dal, 10 dry red chilies, half cup of fresh grated coconut, 1 4 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. So to make the sambar you need cooked tuar dal along with 1 tomato. So here I have taken half cup of tuar dal and I have taken one tomato and pressure cooked it till I get six whistles. A sprig of curry leaves, a lime sized tamarind, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, half teaspoon of asafoetida, four tablespoons of oil and salt. Now that you know all the ingredients, let's see how to make archivita sambar. First, I'm starting by dry roasting the chana dal and coriander seeds for about a minute under medium flame. Now break open the dry red chilies and dry roast this along with chana dal and coriander seeds till they are almost done. Now I'm adding the fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek seeds tends to brown very fast that's why I'm adding these now. So just dry roast everything until you get nice aroma. Now in goes the fresh coconut and just dry roast this for few seconds and switch off the flame. Now let this whole spice mixture cool down completely and once it has cooled down, adding it to the blender and also adding a little bit of water and we'll blend this to a smooth paste. Now that my sambar masala is ready, let's see how to make the actual sambar. So into the saucepan in which I had roasted the spices, I'm adding 4 tablespoons of canola oil and once the oil is hot enough, I'll go ahead and add the mustard seeds and once this starts to pop, in goes the asafoetida. Now we'll add all the veggies except drumsticks because I don't want the drumsticks to become too soft. So adding the small onions, green squash, chow chow and Indian eggplant which is brinjal. Now we'll saute my veggies for a couple of minutes and then adding the tamarind extract. I just took a lime sized tamarind and soaked it with half cup of water for good 10 minutes. Now here I'm separating the pulp and the juice of the tamarind. Now let this come to a boil and we'll add some salt for the veggies to absorb some taste. Give it a good stir and add the ground masala. This sambar has to be in medium consistency. So adding about 2 cups of water to dilute the gravy and mix it in well. Now in goes the cooked dal and tomato mixture and we'll mix it in nicely till my gravy and my dal is well incorporated. Now adding my drumsticks, today I'm using the frozen drumsticks as drumsticks are not available during this time of the season. But if you can find the fresh ones, you can use them. Now by closing the lid, I will cook my sambar till my veggies are cooked completely. Now that my veggies have cooked completely, I will go ahead and add the curry leaves. So to add the curry leaves, I'm just tearing them and adding it to the sambar. This will help to bring out more flavor and aroma from the curry leaves. Now one last time, I will just check the seasoning and looks like I need to add a little bit of salt. So in goes some salt for taste, mixing it well and we'll switch off the flame. You can add a small lime sized jaggery to the sambar and it will taste exactly like the Udupi sambar but I'm not adding the jaggery today. Now my Arachuta sambar is all ready to serve. So let's transfer it to a serving dish and we'll garnish this beautiful and flavorful sambar with some fresh curry leaves.
That sambar looks beautiful, isn't it? And it tastes as good as it looks. Trust me on this, this sambar goes well with rice, dosa and idli. So today I made a uttapam for myself. It tastes divine and I really can taste the traditional flavor. Awesome. So as you guys were asking for this recipe, I kept my promise and I shared this recipe with you all. So it's your turn to make this recipe and let me know how it turned out for you in the comment section below. Go to megascookingchannel.com to get the complete written recipe with measurements and instructions. And when you make this recipe, please tag me on social media with a photo because I love to see how my recipes are turning out for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn such new recipes every week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you with a new recipe.